have a topic here that says, man asked for justice after he was battered by legal staff for no reason. And he goes, OJ, a fashion stylist, said he was walking with his friend last night when some towns in his neighborhood asked them to stop. When they did it, they were attacked and beaten, leaving OJ with a deep cut on his face that bled profusely. OJ added that when help came, people were begging the towns instead. They said the men are new places in the area and make it a habit of bullying and attacking people. He's now asking for justice to ensure someone else doesn't suffer like he did. He wrote, and I want to quote him, this happened around past nine last night. A friend came to visit me and I decided to see him just four buildings away from my house. Three guys asked us to stop and I told my friend not to answer them. The next thing we heard was a slap from behind on my friend's neck and I was like, why would you stop someone you don't know? What has he done? Just before I could finish my statement, the three of them started beating us. My friend was able to run to call for help from my house since the people around there were not ready to help. When we finally got help, people started People started to come around. It was so funny that most people now started to beg these guys and they're telling me to let go because the guys are new places in the area and it's not the first time we're doing this to people in the area. I was, I was able to identify one of them well. I know his house. All I'm asking for is justice. We don't know who the next victim is. This happened in Georgia and Lagos. But I want us to bring it home to your constituency, Oshuti, which is a place where. Uh -huh. We're always very careful in that area. I mean, these are tough, just they need power. Yeah, they believe they have power to just do what they do. How would you say you are handling that in your own constituency? How can we move freely in any little frame of motion without the threat of being attacked? Uh, th thank you for your question. and uh, what I will respond to that Osho the issue first. Okay. Uh -huh. You need to see me as a face of Osho. Okay. I was born there, okay. and I went to the best schools in Nigeria, uh, okay. King's College, Lagos, University of Lagos, mm. and I did medicine okay. before I went abroad. Okay. And abroad, I'm a specialist in two areas, okay. and I came out of that same Osho you are talking about. I see. Yeah. So, perception counts. Right? So that's what, let's take that off the table. That crime can happen anywhere. Yeah. I was a victim of crime in New York, Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm. So, but the way I would look at it is that I think we can all agree that there's no place for crime in any society, especially ours. Mm -hmm. So uh, the subject in question you're talking about uh, definitely de uh, deserve justice. Yes, and we should give him justice. Yeah. And when we're talking about justice, you're talking about law enforcement and the judiciary process. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm with him that uh, he deserves to have justice. That's my response. Okay, but how, how do you think we can control the activities of this scout? How do you think we are really... In fact, there should not... There's, there's a there mentality should be, that they have a backing. Yes, from most of, from most of the politicians, politicians that we have. That's, that's the mentality of people. That's where they can act irrationally. It is important to separate what you call the towns uh -huh. from general crime. Okay. This is a criminal issue, basically. Uh -huh. But let's look at the issue of towns or folks that are out there that we tend to call towns. Every society is a feature, feature of the dysfunction. Uh -huh. When your economy, the economy of the years was down in the 80s, there was crime all over the place. There was a time that you couldn't even walk in the streets of New York before Julian. Uh -huh. So what you have is that you have a social economy that is really poor. You have a very high youth unemployment. Yes. And those are things that those of us that are in the government have to deal with. Okay. So if you have, you have relatives, you said that you went to college, you went to service. There are folks that have finished your service that they are still right. unemployed. Uh -huh. So most of the folks that even perpetrate the crime, you will find that are you yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So, but to address your issue, if you talk about politicians being behind towns, you know, I'm not aware of that. You know, maybe mm -hmm. that's something that you know most citizens really come across. But I know that with us in Oshodi, uh, we tend to. I don't know about those decades, those days ago. You're talking about. We tend to see lack of crime is a very peaceful environment. And the uh, gentleman that, that comes out of Oshodi, Raji Musila, in Akisonya, otherwise known as MC no more, mm. we see him as a homeboy with us, and we think that it's made Oshodi very peaceful. 
compared to when you were talking about. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. I know. Yeah. I I just discovered that we 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 seems to be very close in a. I believe system sure. in terms of from everything is just there. So there will be no need to fight here. <laughs> 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 no, I see kids. I smell kids. Yeah, yeah. Because crime actually has no race, yeah. yes. has no color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crime is crime anywhere in the world. Sure. And just like you said, there are things that give rise to crime. Mm -hmm. When you have a society where the youth unemployment is very high, yeah. Definitely, there must be crime. Mm -hmm. Even as much as we know that crime is bad, uh, somebody needs to do something about it. Some, like, just like he says, something is producing crime. Yeah. Uh, this thing that is producing crime, like he said, that they, the politicians or the, the leaders, they are responsible. Sure. They are the one to copy, they are the one to handle it. Mm -hmm. There is no other, there is no two way because these guys, these ones who are into this crime, sure. if they were carefully employed, sure. we have some societies where even if you are not educated, it doesn't stop you from having something oh, to yeah. do, uh -huh. from having a job to do. Uh -huh. But here we are in a society where some, one youth just stay from morning to night in the, in the house doing nothing, living by begging. So when he goes out, he wants to oppress somebody so that he can be able to extort the person or something somebody and just be able to survive. Oh. So I believe that is where the problem is coming from. It's not about Oshodi. It's not about uh, Ajegule. It's not about Ojota. It's just about the trend of joblessness in the society that must be consciously addressed by our politicians. Sure. Okay. Because to a very large extent, it looks like it's just all your life, mm -hmm. everybody for himself, God for us all. The moment somebody gets to power or your life, everybody for yourself, God for us all, you understand. So when everybody is falling into the gutter and just dying there, it looks like nobody cares. And that is where I feel those who are in position to do something must wake up and do something. Because like Paolo was said, the children of those who refuse to empower now by way of education, they will turn out to kill you or kill your children tomorrow, something like that. So they must understand. Like he just said, he practiced in the US. The reason he said, he talked about some time where there was crime, the rate of crime was very high there because there was poverty. The people there took cautious effort to address that. And so you could sleep with your two eyes open. You could have a house without high walls and you could sleep in the house without high walls because the other person there will be is too occupied with his job that he wouldn't have time to think of how to come and commit crime because the crime rate actually is not just a show, it's not just on daughter, it's, it's everywhere. everywhere, it's yes. everywhere. And now when we talk about, when she was reading it, talking about it and she was like, they fed, they have politicians behind them. I was just looking. <laughs> I don't seem to understand that. Why I don't understand that is that they are touts because these ones were not named. Yeah. You understand? Somebody could readily say, the last man, uh, these uh, people who are doing uh, security, mm -hmm. defense in sure, this yeah. neighborhood, who were watch or whatever, this name was not given to these people. Yeah. If this name was not given to them, I want to believe that these were just criminals in the society. Okay. And people should rise up in the society sure, yeah. and say no to this yeah, criminal. Yeah, because they are no. That's what I think we should react to. I want to know that to this. I mean, this is the guy who said he knows where this man lives. Not until his friend went to call for help at his own house. People were there watching and said that these guys are used to bullying people. Uh -huh. They know that but they are scared of them. Yes. Scared of them. Mm -hmm. Probably they have some kind of bad I've Backing. seen or had cases where towns after people and they take them to the police station and they still tell it, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Yeah. Whoever bears of course, them, yes. 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 So I'm looking at how can I watch my fellow human being mishandled or manhandled? And all I could do is just watch and I can't do anything for the fear of my own life. Does that not say the the rate of insecurity is too high? Too high. I would rather think of myself than safe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can if you're Yes, yes, yes. I want to hear your reaction to this. Well, that's the society we'll find ourselves into, you know. But the thing is, I won't uh, blink eye to say it. 
is enough for you to come out and say we are doing something. Mm -hmm. But that has been the, the chorus we keep hearing from mm -hmm. the politicians. And I'm thank, I thank God he's here. Mm -hmm. You know, they keep, when they come out, they say this, we are working on it, we are working on it. And he's been working on it. And lives are going. Mm -hmm. Nothing is being seen. Nothing is being done. You know, I don't know how long he's been on the position. But the thing is, is for me, it sounds like he's a new person. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's how I see it. Mm -hmm. Because... If it were to be somebody else, I, I will tell him to his face here. No, 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 there is nothing like being new to we politics because no, no, we no, live no, in the area where they meet. No, not politics. Even if it's true, the one that said them that we are politics. This is what I said. I'm telling you, Pastor. Not politics. I'm talking about. I'm talking about him being in the system. Yes. You know, he's he keeps. You know, while he was talking, he keep mentioning over there in the US. Mm -hmm. So it's like he really does not. He probably had it mm -hmm. apart from the father. He grew up from here and then he traveled out. But over time, a lot has changed. Mm -hmm. And then for a child to come out and bully somebody and slap somebody confidently with and such boldness, and people were afraid, begging you for doing something wrong, of course you should know that the authority around is backing them up, mm -hmm. and that's the corrupt system we're in here. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't get to hear it. I don't really like it. It doesn't please my spirit when we keep saying we are doing something. For how long are we going to hear this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one we keep hearing. Mm -hmm. We are doing something. I'm mm -hmm. not seeing anything. Mm -hmm. So he has gone to the point that even the leaders don't have the heart for the people. Exactly. That's, That's just the truth. They, they, they don't care. Yes. They don't care. That's the truth. Like they don't just care. Whatever, as long as they are okay, their family members are okay, to hell with every other person. Mm. And that's the system and if we're you look in. At the laws and they that's make very is for their benefit. Yeah, okay. Not for the benefit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We are sending you. I have to say that. I, I like your passion, you know. And, and that's great, you know. And it, 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 for the society to develop, we need folks like you. Mm. Uh, evil prevails when the great people are silent. Mm. And you, you have uh, pledged that you are not going to be silent. That is our mission. You're right that in the past, the leadership has not been a part. The governance has not been where it should be. No, he didn't, she didn't say in the past, too. Okay. Yeah. Present tense continues. Uh, well, yeah, it depends on what, it, for example, it depends on what you are talking about. I don't think that she can use a blanket way of looking at Can I say something? She, yes. If it does not change. Yeah. Oga, you yeah. are good in speaking diplomatically. Uh, right. That's the story. Uh, That's right. the thing. Politically but the thing, correct, yes. yes, but you know, sir, as you just said now, you see the way you're pushing it to me, right. we'll work together. Right. That's always the language. No, I want, to, I want to discuss what the government is doing. That's what I'm saying. Yes. We always, they always say we work together. Now, when you bring an idea, you wouldn't even be allowed to see him. Right. That's the truth. Yeah. When you come up with an idea, with a concept yeah. that can move forward, the state, the, the council, or whatever it is, the local government, you wouldn't even be allowed. You know, let's so, take so, no, That's no, the no, thing. No, no, no. So I remember back in the day, when yeah. we were in school, particularly secondary school, from GSS to when we write um, essays and then, most of our questions for GSY and SSY, how do you know the issues that they expect you to pen down, as young as you were then, yeah. to pen down ideas? And you know, and I know then there is a quiz or something that makes people. Yeah. Yeah. No, you just get us the yeah. we don't have. But today we don't have that because just like they have nothing to offer. In fact, most of the teachers in the classroom are offering nothing, so the students are equally getting get nothing. So it, it looks like we know that we have a, a part of the. Of system, course. But the government has a role. Sure. Yeah. yeah, governance is, is key. Yes. You know, the civil society is just going to put the governance at bay that this is what is right. But the owners are still on, the go on governance. Mm -hmm. and, I, and that's the point I was trying to make. I, I don't share that school of thought that uh, all levels of the government have been absent. When you compare the security situation in Lagos, I know you were talking about this mm -hmm. isolated microcosm you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But I don't think the security in Lagos State, especially, is like what you would say that we're in a very insecure situation. Mm -hmm. So and I know the government is doing its best if you really follow. Then it's not sexy to be in government, I know that, mm -hmm. but uh, if you take your time to see what has been done in Lagos State, especially over the, uh, in the I would say, couple of the governments that you have in Lagos State, mm -hmm. there have been a lot of efforts to curb insecurity in Lagos, even the issue that you are talking about. Mm -hmm. If you follow, the Lagos State government have bought a lot of vehicles even for the police. Mm -hmm. There's a, a special insurance program that was uh, given to the police force and even the if you look right now the commission of police has been changed i don't know whether you follow yes, that. Yes. Okay. yes so folks are paying attention to it is it sufficient no 
is it where we need to be? No. But we need to recognize it when we see that things are on the right track. Because the government yeah. is about you. You are part of government. Uh -huh. You are the folks that put them there. And they need to be answering to me. But I don't want to, if we look at it like nothing good can come from government. And then we cannot just do this by ourselves. You know? And by the way, Pastor, I share another passion with you, which is uh, the moral philosophy of governance. And that is related to what we're talking about. What does that mean? Being Christ-like. There's no food, you give food. There's no water, you give water. It extends to the security. So if you bring that kind of thing to governance, you cannot love thy neighbor as yourself. So you cannot have, like you're saying, you cannot have a situation where the towns are taking over uh -huh. if you love your neighbor as yourself. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So anyway, I'm going to I want to say, I want to quickly ask this. <laughs> yes. Because now we're talking about a people in a society yeah. that will just wake up right. and beat their neighbor. Nobody right. can ask them right. because they have some power behind them. Mm. The question is, even as much as I, am a, I believe in being very honest, right. if you want to ask me about security in Lagos, yes. I can tell you if I'm in Lagos, I sleep better than I sleep in Benin, where I came from. Mm. I must be very, very frank here. Yeah, even, uh, even as much as I acknowledge that, I also want to ask this question yes. from our politician here right, today. Right, right. Because the general notion out there is that these towns are used by the politicians during election. After election, they don't have a job. They descend on the people. They use all the, 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 the powers they have been given. And you know when I say power, you know what, what I'm talking about? Every other thing that gives you power over your neighbor that they have been given, they use it against the people. If I may ask, sir, these young men that will just wake up and beat their neighbor and boast of it that I can nothing will happen. Police say when I get to police, I'm, in two minutes I'll be released. And honestly, when this guy is, is arrested, in two minutes he get, the police get a call from somewhere and this person is let go, sir. Who do we say could be held responsible for this? Okay. Is it the people that are beating right. or the society that? Where yeah, they did that, you understand? What do we hold yeah, responsible yeah, for we, this? We cannot blame <laughs> victims mm. for what their experiences are. Yeah. It is not the fault of the victim all the time, right? The function of governments is to ensure there is law enforcement. Mm. That when you get into trouble, you can trust your policeman. Yeah. Yeah. You can report to the police station. And you will expect that there will be investigations mm -hmm. and there will be Total arrests. Investigations. Yes. Yeah. And the person will be put towards the judiciary process yeah. and it falls wherever it is. If it's no innocent until proven guilty. Oh, yeah. But I agree with you that are we having that? No. Probably not. And court you know, will also judge yeah. based on evidence before them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Court will not judge based on rumor. Right. Court will not judge based on social media idea or what people think or say on social media. They judge, they, the judge will give right. judgment based on the evidence before the judge. Uh, which is we're not having that. If right. we don't have evidence, what happens? Well, yeah, in totality, every level of that process, mm -hmm. we probably don't have that. There are baby steps, that's what she's impatient about. But you cannot throw the baby with the bathwater. We're going to have to keep doing this. Keep the politicians at task. And unfortunately, fortunately, I'm representing the heart of the politician. Oh, yeah. And I'm glad, yeah. It, and I, and I'm glad he wear that hat. Okay. Every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we retire, we'll continue to work with someone. I know I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
we are discussing about that. People behind cameras really can keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are saying that you're a politician and your your habit will be at the heart yeah, sure. of a politician. Right. And I just wanted you to bring it down so that uh, when we're done, we'll be able to ask you a couple of more questions before going into our lifestyle edition. So go ahead, please. About uh, like I was telling the pastor, mm -hmm. uh, my, I have a philosophy of governance. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody comes into government with their own intrinsic way of looking yeah. at things. My own way, I call it the moral philosophy of governance, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I'm a Muslim, but I have a lot of Christian friends. Okay. And they taught me that. And I think almost every religion preaches that, yeah. which we say is Christ-like. Yeah. Don't have water, you get water. Don't have food, give you food. You don't have shelter, they give you shelter. So it's all about the people and having a better life. So that's what I bring into government. And I have been blessed that, like you were talking about my campaign, all I told the folks was that this is payback time. The community, you have done a lot for me. I have scholarships all through. So if it's not me, we will come back to this community that you have that kind of perception about. And the people rose up at mass and voted for me. And uh, also, for your information, because uh, I'm not really new at this. I've been doing this for 10 years. Okay. So every year, we we'll bring uh, medical missions to you. Free medications. Free yeah. doctors. Oh, you said that to people. Uh, uh, to give back. Uh, uh, to give back. You know, we understand yeah. that in most cases, yeah. most of these politicians, right. when they start nursing that ambition, sure. they, they start, uh, they start back. giving yeah. back to the right. society. The giving back is like a bribe. Uh -huh. So that when finally they come out, people right. can come out right. and vote for them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, some politicians. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, especially our ladies, uh, women folks, like the way you groom your kids, you can look into someone's house and know you're sincere. That's where yeah, I, mean, so, I was yeah. actually coming there since you're into maternal and child. Yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah. You know, what are you both doing um, for mortality? Yeah. Particularly for women because we yeah. have cases of um, fibroids. I mean, at this age and time, women shouldn't be dying of fibroids anymore. Mm -hmm. We have cases of infertility in right. women and some other funny um, infant sicknesses and diseases that naturally shouldn't take the life of a child. I know that you can't do this for the whole Lagos, yeah, but what are, what, what, are, what are you bringing to the table to uh, see that the health, that part of health sector is not suffering, seeing that that's your own area of strength? Right. And by the way, I'm the Health Services Committee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, and I'm on the <laughs> <laughs> So the way we look at it, that the indices are poor, okay. and this is not something that is new. Okay. It's been for a very long time. Okay. I think there's a saying in obstetrics that you don't have to die to give birth to a child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the kid dies in some other times, or the mother dies, yeah. that's a really big deal. Mm -hmm. So the reason, one of the reasons that uh, the indices are so low is that there are some parts of the country that is extremely low. That, that you know they don't have primary care they don't have access to care it's not just uh, for maternal mortality most of the deaths are coming out of people that can have cesarean sections yes. or postpartum yes. hemorrhage yes. so if you're going to from your experiences you know if you're going to deliver a child you need to be in an environment that if the baby can't come out there's a doctor that can bring the baby out yeah. in some environment you have to go three hours for that mm. So, because our people in some areas think that they don't have access, they go to have well, the Balawa and all that. But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 When my alpha says don't mm, do this, yeah. or maybe my baba somewhere says right. don't do this. Right. But wh where do we get to that point where medical expertise is needed? I mean, right. if you're to go through cesarean session, they should right. understand because they feel cesarean session right. is death sentence. Right. There's this mentality of ah, they'll cut me down to no, you know? Yeah. So what some people you know, see it as a curse. As a curse. Yes. As a woman, you cannot be able to push by yourself. Do you curse. not think? Well, there's a whole lot of lecture that is Well, it's uh, holistic. That's the way to approach the whole health sector. Okay. But the good news is that she may not want to hear that. The, this particular government that is there is a government that's been making a lot of efforts under President Buhari. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the government is a government that is successful. 
<laughs> as a government that wants a better life for Nigerians. Okay, sir. Let's Which I'm a part of. Okay, okay, it's not enough to say I want okay. this. <laughs> it's not enough to say I deserve to do this. Yes. Okay. What they're doing is like the faith. Faith without work yes. makes yes. nothing. I, yes. I don't even need to work. 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 He said, how is it? He said, I don't even need to work. I don't want to hear All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that what you are saying is it true. Is true. I don't I I Okay, you said the government is really working on this, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, can you help, can you just enlighten us to know what exactly have they done? What are they doing right now? How can, the people, mm. how can the people get to this thing? Good. Because they are hearing and I very right. want to go. That's a, that's a great question. Yeah. Mm. What is going to bring the indices down? The poor indices you're talking about, infant mortality, maternal mortality, mm. is going to be universal access to care, okay. which you will only achieve with primary care, uh -huh. not the folks that you're going to see because guys change in your pocket, okay. right? What everybody can see, yeah. universal health coverage. Mm -hmm. That means that you should have primary care center one in each ward all okay. over the country. Okay. So that which have access to maternal and child aid and child care. Is that in place now? Uh, I will not say that it's completely it's in place. Still, it's still in place. I know, I know that. I know that. Is it in process? Yeah, I'm going to answer that question. Okay. So, they're already there are already there federal health centers all over the country. Mm -hmm. President Buhari decided that they have to revitalize the lot of the health centers that they made. When they go to government, yeah. they don't have equipment, they don't have facilities. Mm -hmm. The first thing actually is that you have a lot of primary care centers that are not equipped, that are not staffed, mm -hmm. before you even start to build new ones. Mm -hmm. And this is the focus of his government. That's not something that may not be very sexy for you to hear, but it's there. Uh, okay. You know, yeah. Oh, and when you look at Lagos State, I also want to talk about Lagos, being a Lagos man. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. If you follow the budget and the presentation of Mr. Governor, Sonwo, it was very clear that is going to, like you said, what is being done now. Yes. In this particular budget of 2020, yeah. a lot of the hospitals are going yeah. to be upgraded. They're going to be equipped. They're going to be better staffed. So we're looking at for a great time in healthcare. Okay. In the state yeah, of I, I, thought yes. oh, I want to quickly yeah, say yeah. this. Yeah. I want to quickly say this. Yeah. You know, when you say everything you just highlighted, right. there yes. seems to be planned. Yes, sure. You see, so long as it is planned, yeah. it's as good as something that is in somebody's mind. Right. Until it is real, realistic. Exactly. Exactly. Until exactly. it is manifested. Yes. Until right. it says exactly. becomes a reality. We, the right. people, right. cannot right. see. We can't say it is there. And the so if you are adding it well, to we, we your, your, your the, how do I call it, yeah. your achievements, right. We will want to see that achievement as achievement that is in the spirit realm. No, no, Pastor, we have evidence. Because we need to, the evidence on the ground we that these it. things yes. are there. We have evidence of performance in Lagos State. Uh, you said you, you just wait, said you're a federal. You okay, let's say, yeah, yeah, because you're you are there. You are. I'm not talking about okay, okay, let's talk about federal. federal. Let's talk about you federal. You were talking federal. That yes. is why I'm also answering. Okay, there you are. I'm federal. talking about federal that you just put Okay, let's talk about federal. That you said mm -hmm. these things are going to be done sure yeah and plan added it to achievement right plan cannot be achieved right. that's what i'm saying right. hostilities executed oh, we sure. don't see things sure we know it's just like somebody told me one governor somewhere right. is a we can see and i travel to that state right. and i'm asking the people i beg i'm looking for what you people we can see right. you understand right. i want you to show me what we can see it's not by telling me right. things happen right I have eyes, I'm not blind, okay, even without this eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see right. what you are doing. No, it's not Don't it's just come and tell me, I will do, uh, I will do. We are not just saying I will do now. I will do uh, I, 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 we have heard so much, okay. I will do we that. Okay. When you say I will do now, we don't it's not it's not political statement. Somehow has been done, is that what you want to say? Sure, yeah. Okay. Because I'm at the forefront of it, I'm on the table. I will do the budget presentation. Okay. And one of the things is what I said, that there's going to be in this 2020, with this budget for it, revitalization 
of at least. How soon are we going to see this? This is. Oh yeah, I mean, the great thing about this year is that the budget was passed on time, unlike yeah. in the past government. Yeah. yeah. So you should see results quick. One budget is passed. You know, every day is going to see that. Oh so yeah. Ask yeah. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. 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 Love, hang on a second. I want to say something. So, are you saying the past four years we should let go? No, no, no. He's saying what? no, no, no. Because no. I heard okay. vividly yeah. what he said. He said right. we should thank God the budget came early this yes. year. Right. No, but the past four years, the pains we should just let go. Nigerians are so patient. Right. Yes, we are so patient. We'll be holding on to, right. waiting patiently. We'll go and queue on the sun. Right vote in right. and campaign message has been i will do this i will build road i will give you light i will right. give you this right. after everything is done it becomes a history right. and we are still waiting right. you know now another year is come right. has right. coming now we are still being hopeful well, I don't want why, to, they, uh, okay. why they may not seem to understand sure. that they, yeah. they don't yeah. understand the what we are going right. through right. when you want yeah. to go to maybe anywhere in Ifakwa, where right. i live right. i'm very sure they would have get the road to ready for of you. Of course, through it. Yes, you won't feel You it. understand? But if I'm going through it, nobody gets the road. Okay, for me. Right. Every now and then, I'm changing the the exhaust of my car because the road is bad. Is bad. But when you want to come to, to visit that local government, they would have ratified those areas and make it okay for you. So you may not understand. Honestly, people are suffering in this nation. Sure, yeah. yes. People suffer yes. from every, virtually everything. Yes. Now, yes. Oh, now yes. thank God. We, we believe normally in Lagos during the rainy season, there's always light. I've known that all the years I've been in Lagos. So yeah. we've just gone through rainy season and we know we had yeah. relatively light. Mm -hmm. You understand? And now we are paying so much. Somebody just sits somewhere and just cuts bill and share to people. <laughs> Every house gets the same thing and nobody's talking for the people. I believe. You are representing the people. Yes. Sir. Sure, yeah. If you if you are representing the people, because sure. we hear them say at that say federal level, right. if they are not metered, right. don't pay bill. Sure, okay, so yeah. what, what are you going to tell them you won't pay bill? When they will come and remove your, 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 your wire. We will indulge you to please get the message out there. Let them know this is the cry of the people. Right. Now we are speaking from the angle we're not speaking from the angle of comfort now because right. we are all you heard she keeps working on her exhaust. Yes. Sure. And God help me if you have a mechanic who is oh. just all out to ditch your eyes. Oh. He, he has a way of billing you. And to think that whatever it is you're even replacing your car, most times at Tokumbo, you can't even afford new. Sure. Buying new is means you mean you buy a soft for no company. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. help us take this message out. Nigerians are crying. Sure. But in health, water, all aspects, yeah. every aspect. Let yeah. the weather be what we cannot change. Yeah. But what we can change, yeah. let's make a let's change. Let's make a change. I also want yeah. to say this. Good. Please, sir, don't get it wrong. Right. It's not you. It's not you. Because you have people. Yes. But those people but that people you put in place, no. my, our own is, if you can follow them, no. because it's enough for you to give an instruction, go and do this. No. Yes, and so that's, what I was, that's what I was talking about reorienting their mind before they get into that position because the people you send they will go and take the money and use it I remember and the, the, the bad name comes to you yes. because you're the leader uh -huh. so what are we are asking you please with all humility sir is follow it to the end mm -hmm. I give you this job give you yes. the result if he has if he is going to cost you going down to the place Check it yourself, oh, inspect it, um, and see that it's going to work. Because the glory will come to you. Honestly. You do a road walk, and you see him come and walk on that road. I see it. He was comfortable, he was comfortable and a lot of people didn't like him because of his, he was very strict, and I loved that. I loved him. I was not as I still say, he never comes out of the most strict. I want to be present in my day. I want him to ask for him, and we loved him. Yeah, I've been to the bus during his regime, and I asked a conductor to drop me at the place I felt was a regular bus stop. I said it here before. And he told me, no, he's not afraid of God, he's afraid of Pashola. And I had to maintain my calm. And he took me to my box. So I might stop. You know? So please help us take this message out and try and enforce it. Right. We'll bring it back again. We're hoping by that time we're thinking what you said. What you said. <laughs> 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 no, I, I don't want to come across that this is a rosy situation. Nigeria is really, really behind. Mm -hmm. But the message I have, I think you have your message, mm -hmm. is that coming from someone that has all this diverse background mm -hmm. and being at the table now, I think this, the, I think it's different now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For Thank example, you. in the Health Services Committee that I am, there are five mm -hmm. doctors there. Okay. It, that has never been before. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And folks are now just going to close their eyes. Yes. yes. And yeah. just watch movie there. Yeah. That's not possible. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank now, you.